to get started you're going to need to make a foundation chain in any even stitch number. I have made a chain of 16 to get started. In this tutorial I'm going to be using US crochet terms and the only stitch I'm going to be using is the double crochet so if you are you used to using UK crochet terms this will be a treble crochet for you. So to get started we need one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook not counting the chain on the hook one two three and four and we're just going to do two double crochets into that stitch. And one more. And then we're going to skip a chain and do two double crochets straight into the next chain. We're going to do the same again, skip a chain, two double crochet and we're going to work this way all the way to the end until we have two chains left. So once you have two chains left I'll meet you back and we'll move on to the next row together. I now have two chains left at the end of my row and instead of doing two double crochet into my last stitch I'm going to do one double crochet. So I'm going to do one double crochet in there and having this one double crochet tighten that, and our turning chain on each side will create nice straight edges for this piece. So we're going to chain three and then turn our work. Okay, so on this side our chain three counts as our first double crochet. We are going to be working directly into the centre of these two double crochets from the previous row with two more double crochets. This will split our double crochets apart and create that V. So yarn over and insert straight into the centre, create two double crochets. And then we're going to do the same into the next pair of double crochets, straight into the centre with two more double crochets. And we're going to continue that way all the way to the end of the row, working in each pair with two double crochets. And then when we get to the end, I'll meet you back and we'll create that edge together again. When you get to the end of your row and you've completed all of your V's, you're just going to do as we did before, one double crochet into the last stitch of the row, which will be the turning chain from the previous row. In there for a double crochet. And then we're going to chain three and turn. Ooh, two and three and turn our work. Now each row is going to be exactly the same. From now on we are going to do two double crochets into the centre of our V's and then one double crochet into the last stitch at the end of our row. So it's a pattern repeat. I'm going to go ahead and build my sample a bit more so you can see what it looks like on a bigger scale and then I'll come back to you. So I've gone away and built up my swatch a little bit more so you can see the stitches and as you can see as, as the stitch builds um, the V's become more defined and they kind of slot into each other really nicely. So you can continue to build your swatch to make something lovely like a scarf if you're using super chunky or something a bit heavier. Um, if you are using a, a thinner yarn you could use a bigger hook and it would be a lovely lacy stitch as well. So keep an eye out for my latest pattern that is coming soon which is going to be in this stitch type. If uh, you are watching and I've already posted that have a search in my um, YouTube videos for the Carlton scarf and you can find it there. Thanks for joining me today guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a massive massive thumbs up. Leave a comment below to let me know that you like it and if you want to see more from me hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I'll catch up with you all soon.